So tonight I watched a movie that I had been sort of avoiding for a while. So um, it's called The Loneliest Planet, and it was written and directed by Julia Loktev. It came out in 2012, and it was playing at one of the theaters that I worked at, and I remember watching the trailer like a million times. And the trailer doesn't tell you anything from the movie, but that it looked boring. Um, and then I kept reading the calendar at work, like, trying to figure out what this movie was about. Because the description is, like, basically two backpackers go through Europe, something, or a backpack, two backpackers are climbing in Georgia, the country, not the state. And then something happens that changes their, their, um relationship forever and it's like what is the thing and you know if it was like not an independent film the trailer would totally give away whatever that thing was but somehow this movie's been out for three years somehow I managed to never get spoiled for what the thing is um and I'm not gonna say what the thing is because you have to watch it and plod through this just slog of a movie um to see the thing <laughs> that changes their relationship forever <laughs> anyway so I didn't watch this movie and it's been on Netflix forever and then I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna watch it um <laughs> normally I like hate the comments on movie but this time um one of my friends on there had like a great comment they were like more like the boringingness planet that's to play on loneliest even though boringingness is not a word it was so boring, and I'm reading the Wikipedia, and it was based on a short story. I hope that was a well-written short story, because this... <sighs> so, it's supposed to be a contemplative film on the, like, vastness of the human condition, and how you can't really rely on anybody but yourself. And the, re <laughs> the director, like, emphasizes this by these, like huge like far away shots where it's like Georgian landscape and then if you look really closely there's like people that's the bulk of the movie um if the movie were as emotionally resident as it is beautiful it would be one hell of a movie but instead it's a beautifully shot boring movie about characters that are so underdeveloped that it's like who are they why do I care ugh why are they here? How did they meet? We don't know anything about them. I'm supposed to just randomly care because they're human? I don't think so. And seriously, if it was not Gael Garcia Barnell, I would not... Burnell, how do you say his name? Burnell. I would not even care. I still didn't care. And it was Garcia, G Gael Garcia Burnell. So there you go. That's this movie. Um... I just wanted it to end. Like, so the thing that happens, it's alluded to, that's not even alluded to in the trailer, really. It's just, you have to read the little blurb to know that you're supposed to be waiting for it. Um, 50 minutes in. 50. And then you have to have another hour. And you think that the thing, they're going to explore the ramifications of the thing on their relationship, right? Right? Supposedly, the scenes that follow do that but like no they don't yes I will admit that it was an interesting attempt at non-verbal storytelling but I say attempt because there's no story and nothing was told other than they're walking that's it I didn't get any emotional anything from from them like and I got nothing and it was all in their heads and nothing was projected at me as a viewer and I just didn't care and I wanted it to end really bad. Um, or at least, like, these people never talk practically at all. They're walking for, like, days and they never have conversations. They had, like, two conversations over the fire at night and then it was, like, the whole movie. The only dialogue. And it's, like, these must be the two most boring people ever if they, like have nothing to say to each other <sighs> now I have never backpacked through Europe with somebody so maybe you get to a point where you've talked about everything and there's nothing to talk about and that's the part of the journey we're at but I am someone who can always talk 
so <laughs> that would never happen. Um, at least I would be yammering, even if the other person wasn't. Um, anyways, I really did not like this movie. But if you want to try and watch it, uh, there are a few people on movie who gave it five stars, so some of you might love it. Um, someone compared it to Jerry. I liked Jerry. It's a Gus Van Sant movie with, um, is it Matt Damon and Casey Affleck? That movie I liked. This movie, because they talked. That movie was dialogue. Except for when they got, like, super, super, you know, dehydrated. But, wow, you can't even Google it on here. Jerry. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, Matt Damon. Okay. I liked that movie. I'd much rather watch Jerry again, to be honest. So anyways, don't watch this movie or do. I don't know. It's on Netflix. You have two hours where you want to stare at something that's pretty and then want to die at the same time. Go ahead. Ooh. Me back to where I was at. Um... So that's The Loneliest Planet from 2012, written and directed by Julia Loktev. I really didn't like it. Kanye Shrug.